in my eyes, my nose, my hands, and my mouth. I accept my do. To be the sixth of Sam's National Barbecue Tour Judge. So the crew, Justin, Excellence and Barbecue. I'm going to eat the rest. <laughs> uh, that's your number one? That's my number one pick. Gave it the best grade. Up in here, probably number two. The least favorite. Okay. Because? Okay. Uh, because of, well, tenderness and taste. Right. And that's about it. Okay. Next. Oh, I'm next. Mean, That's okay. Can you remember? Number four. Yeah. Okay. You can still eat it. I'm going to eat that last one. You can <laughs> eat off of it. That's fine. <laughs> number number four was my bit favorite. <laughs> number six. I've never seen it either. It was tenderness was good, but the flavor was a little not there for me. Not, not as much as the others, or not comparing it to the others, but it just wasn't. Other than that, it was great. <laughs> Next, sir. What? One, two, three, four, five, six. Favorite place, favorite. I remember what. Here it is. I'm sorry. Three and four were the. Uh, the uh, I think it was the second one that was really peppery. Was it not? And a lot of them had a, more pepper than I'm used to seeing, but I thought probably the third one was the uh, was, uh, pick of the letter. Yeah. You're on TV. <laughs> Which one did you like? Um, I liked uh, number five the most uh, for its um, taste, specifically the... It was a little spicy, but the honey flavor afterwards, I really enjoyed that, and also it was, ex it was very tender. So, uh, I like the second one, the, uh, with the, uh, the, the leg. I thought that was excellently done, you know. It was probably my far the favorite one. My favorite was actually, taste-wise, was a tie between one and six. I thought they were cooked good. The only issue was one was just fell away from the bone a little too much. Uh, my least favorite was number five. And the reason being it was way too much sauce, hard to taste the meat. It was very sweet and a little bit dry. Well, my favorite one was number three. It was cooked good. It wasn't a bunch of sauce on it. 
and uh, my least favorite was number five because it was uh, too much sauce and it was tough as well. Um, my least favorite was number two. It was uh, bordering on the mushy side, overcooked, and I didn't detect hardly any flavor. And my favorite was the last one, number six. It would seem like it was perfectly done and it had a lot of good flavor to it. Oh, oh we're doing <clears throat> Excuse me. My um, favorite piece was number one perfect taste, perfect tenderness. Is that why the bones bare? That's the one that the bones are bare, right. Um, <clears throat> They were all, all six of them were excellent. You could tell professionals did them all. I'd say my least favorite was number three. It had great taste, great appearance, a little, pulled a little tight, like it wasn't perfectly done, but they were all great. Uh, out of mine, I'd have to say one was my favorite. Two was a real close. It just might have been a little bit overdone, barely. Probably number three was my worst. Uh, it looked great in the box. It had a good flavor to it. It's just a little bit chewy. And all that, they did a pretty good job. I thought number one and number four were the best. And in my case, number two was worst. One was my favorite, I think, and six was definitely my least favorite. It, it had a, it was a little bit mushy. It had a really funny taste. I don't know how to describe it. Um, that's really the only thing I can tell you is the other five were pretty close together, and that one stood out to me as just really off the chart, the odd taste. Okay, Mark, let's see what we got here. All right, uh, number one, triple nine. Great on appearance, taste, and tenderness. Excellent. Number th two, exactly the same way. Great taste, tenderness, and appearance. Uh, those two are just right on the money. Down here we got a, number three is an eight, eight, seven. And, uh, it looks like they kind of threw it in the box. Uh, didn't look that appetizing. On the taste, it was a little bit offbeat on the taste. It's kind of strange. Uh, and on the tenderness, it was definitely undercooked. They need to leave it on there smoking a little bit longer. Number four was excellent. Nine, nine, nine. It was, uh, I see it's all gone because it was right. I, like I, love, I loved it. I wish I had more of that, Mark. All right, then number four. We had a nine, eight, eight. Uh, Looked great in the box, uh, a little bit different in the uh, taste. A tenderness need to look cooked a little bit longer, a little bit undercooked. No, nobody is overcooked, a little bit undercooked there. Uh, and on the last one, number four, we had a, uh, let's see here. I can't remember what I've said about, oh, there, 889, 889 uh, reason because uh, looked pretty good. Uh, 
taste the taste was definitely like he said earlier number judge one odd flavor i don't we don't know what that is but the tenderness was good it was sir unpleasant unpleasant not a not a pleasing taste kind of different judge number five I liked uh, number one and number two both. I gave them nines all the way across because of the, the appearance. They looked really neat in the box, and the tenderness was awesome on both of them. Not underdone, not overdone. And the taste was good. You could taste the meat, you could taste the smoke, and you could taste the, the uh, sauce as well. Um, I had a problem with number four because it was a little overdone. It would mush on my plate, which is different than what other judges got, which just tells you... You get different things for different judges, and that's why you get the different scores. And there were two of them. I can't remember if it was five and six maybe that were a little underdone, and they were a little tough to take the bite. And um, overall, I thought the, the taste was pleasing on all of them, except one um, had a little more metallic taste to it. But it was a, it was a good category overall. Separated. I was liking that pattern. That was a new pattern. <laughs> what? Zigzag them. Couple here, couple there, but the slices don't fit in between. I'm on. I'm on now. Okay. This this was the last category we judged. It's brisket, and if you can't tell, I'm from Montgomery, Alabama, because of my accent. But you, the number one was spot on. It was. I think it was the consensus of everybody. It was moist and tender. Number three wasn't bad. The number four one right here, Mike should have gone to been an Italian shoe somewhere but they all had a good good beefy taste to it and you can see the smoke ring on most of them across there brisket's by far one of my favorite things to eat and taste um, the fruitiness of number one for with the woods uh, brought out a lot of added flavor and texture uh, number three had a buttery taste and flavor that uh, just was 
kind of hard to describe, but uh, I had to go back and have another bite of that before it was over with. And then the cherry wood flavor I got in number five um, was, was, was also outstanding. I like number one. Uh, it had tenderness, was dead on the money. It had a good flavor. Uh, number two appeared to be a little dry in the box, but uh, it was a little, a little tough. It wasn't quite like it ought to be. Uh, number three was an excellent piece all the way around. Uh, number four was a very good one. Number five was a little bit salty for me. And uh, number six, uh, it, it lacked the flavor that I really think a good brisket ought to have. But uh, other than all, we had pretty good brisket today. <laughs>